Hello everyone, today I will show you how to navigate through Windows 8. I know it's been out for quite some time, many people have learned how to use it by trial and error, but some of my friends have been complaining that they don't even use their Windows 8 laptops or desktops just because they hate navigating through it. Well, this will show you the overview of how to navigate through it and I'm going to show you a couple of steps that will make it a little bit more user friendly. So the first thing when you turn on your desktop or laptop is the startup screen. This is what we have to work with. Microsoft thought it was the best thing in this world. I find it very annoying. So every application you download through the App Store on Windows 8 will appear here. So if we're when if you're a Windows 7 person, you're like, "Where's my desktop?" Well, it's the desktop is almost like if it was an application in this Windows a startup menu so it would be the lowest the left bottom corner icon and if you click on it it takes you to your desktop great let's go back to the startup menu the next thing you might want to be familiar with is the store the app store applications are divided by sections just like on your smartphone or tablet so if you go into an actual application, like the store itself is an actual application. The way you exit this application, you could either take your mouse, your icon, I'm sorry, your pointer, <laughs> and you're gonna drag it all the way to the top right corner, and you could click on this short menu that appears on Start. Start will take you directly back to your startup menu but if you just want to close that application and go back to your startup menu you could take your pointer all the way to the top you're gonna to see that a little hand is gonna appear you could click and hold and you could drag it all the way down that's gonna close your application great the next thing you might want to know with your applications is that it actually has the option to have it on the side. So let's say if you're watching something on Netflix that you opened up through the application and you want to continue watching it while quickly working on one of your documents, you could drag the application the same way I said before, take your pointer all the way to the top, you'll see the little hand appear, and now you could drag the application and put it to the side. So click here on the blank spot, go back to your desktop, and your application is still opened on the side. Now you can continue working on your document or whatever other project you're doing on your desktop. Well, if you want to close that application, you could just drag it all the way there to the side so you'll see three little dots here if you take your pointer over those three little dots and click and hold you're able to drag that window to the side so if you drag it all the way to the side that it makes the desktop bigger it will actually clear up the application and leave you on your desktop but if you drag it a little bit towards the side that will make the desktop shorter what it'll do it'll make the desktop smaller and your application much bigger. If you continue dragging, you would stay on the application alone and you would close your desktop. And the last way you could get rid of it, same way, take your pointer all the way to the top of the side of that application. You'll see the little hand appear, click and hold, and drag it down. And it closes it. Great. I know you're going to continue hearing me saying, great, but it's that. Microsoft thought that they were doing us a favor by adding all these cute little options and a laptop or desktop is to work most of the time. It's a PC. It's not a tablet. So some of these functions, I actually find them annoying, but whatever. The next thing I want to show you is if you actually bought software and installed it on your um, desktop or laptop, you have the icons that are available to appear here on your desktop. That's if it's like, do you want an icon to appear here? But if you didn't select that, there is no actual start menu here. You don't have that. 
all you have is these options down here for your applications and the way you would think that you would have to access it is by clicking folders going to your C drive program files well no Windows 8 gave you the option to actually from your startup menu view all your applications so the application could either be here so it'll appear as an icon here in this section and if it does not appear on your start menu um, you could right click so when we select stuff and we drag and drop and click on icons we we're left clicking so if you right click and drag your cursor all the way to the bottom to all applications these will be all the applications on your computer this is the only screen that if you press escape will take you back to your desktop or your startup menu other than that you could always take your pointer to the top right corner and go back to start so some of the things that have made my life easier using Windows 8 has been the start menu adding this little start menu to the corner makes me feel back like if I'm using Windows 7 Windows 98 Windows 95 all these previous operating system that had a way on how to launch all your applications and files without having to do all that extra work how Windows 8 makes us do the way you do this if you watch the link that's gonna appear um, you can actually click on the link it will take you to a video that show you how to install it and it'll give you the links of the softwares that you could use in order to install that start menu one of the cool things about the one I'm using it's by Pokey P-O-K-K-I um, if you right click over the start menu and you click on settings it actually gives you the option of booting your PC so that means that when you start fresh and turn on your PC you could boot up directly to the desktop instead of that start menu and it could also disable the bottom left hot corner what is this I'm gonna deselect it that way you see what it is so when you take your pointer all the way to the left bottom you will see that the start menu appears and you can go directly to your start menu through that so if you have a start button it makes it a little bit annoying especially if you're going quickly over there because the start menu is gonna appear right away so you could disable that by poking so go into settings disable bottom left hot corner and that will not appear so if you need to go to your start menu because like I said the applications you download through your app store will only appear on that start menu it will not appear on your desktop you have the options of taking your pointer to the top right corner and going to start or if you click on the actual start button right here this little icon on pokey will take you directly to the start menu as well the last thing I would like to tell you guys that will make your life much easier so with Windows 8 if you have a PDF file it will open up as an application even Chrome will open up as an application on Windows 8 so it will take you out of your desktop and it will open up an application just like we did before with the Netflix which you could either put on the side or open up completely on a separate window well if you take your pointer to the top corner and you click on search and click on default programs so you have to type default programs on the search you're able to set what applications are going to open the files specifically for your computer so for your PDF files you do not have Adobe Reader installed in your computer you only have the PDF Reader that Windows 8 has so if you just continue using that it's always going to open it up as an application so if you download Adobe Reader from the Adobe website you come here into this default programs menu 
and then you can select Adobe Reader to be the default program to open up your PDF files. The same thing applies for your Windows Media Player. If you want your videos to just play naturally on your laptop or desktop and you open them up, it's going to open up on a separate application taking you outside of your desktop. But if you go and you select Windows Media Player as your default, it will open up the videos here on your desktop and it won't take you out of there. So with these few little adjustments, I only go to my startup menu whenever I want to launch one of the applications that specifically opened up just through here. So if I want to listen to the iHeartRadio and have it on the side, this is the place where I will actually log in through. Maybe later. So like I said, I was going to try to keep it short and sweet and try to give you an overview of Windows 8 and a way to some ways to make it a little bit more user friendly. I hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, let me know or if you have any more ideas that think are ways to make Windows 8 user friendly, let me know as well and I'll create a video and show it to the rest of the world. Thank you and hope you guys have a great day.